जय हिंद एवरी वन सो माई सेल्फ रितिका ध्यानी फ्रॉम सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट ए के जी ई सी टू डेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन द टॉपिक फंक्शन दीज वर दी टॉपिक्स दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फर्स्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन देन टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शन थर्ड इज आइडेंटिटी फंक्शन फोर्थ इज इनवर्टेबल फंक्शन फिफ्थ वन इज कंपोजिशन फंक्शन what is a function function it is a mapping in which every element of set a is uniquely associated at the elements with set b the set of a is called the domain of the function and the set of b is called codomain what does it means it means so this is the diagrammatic representation of function where this is the first set and this is the second set and these arrows represent the association of uh, uh elements from set a to set b here if we talk about domain and codomain the first set is known as the domain for this particular function and the elements of second set will be known as codomain domain of a function for example let f be a function from a uh, particular uh, set p to set q then the elements of set p is known as the domain of the function codomain of a function codomain of a function will be the elements of set q and last one is range of a function range of a function defines the uh, set uh, subset of its codomain what does it means it means let's see it with an example here if we see x is an element then this diagram represents the set x and y is another set where having elements a b c d and e and f is a function that defines one is associated with b two is associated with a three is associated with d and fourth is associated with c this is how we represent the set here we can see the domain of a function will be the 1 2 3 4 the a set containing all these four elements range of a function will be all the elements of a set y that are associated with uh, elements of set x here we can see e is not associated with any of the elements of set x then uh, this will not be included in the range the range will be a b c and d lastly codomain of a function codomain of a function is all the elements of this particular set uh, considered as codomain of a function now there is a point that you need to remember when we talk about function that there may be some elements in the second set which are not related to any element of set p let's see it using an example here if we have two sets x and y and some elements of x then it it is a possibility that any any element of set x y is uh, remain no association does not have any association with any of the elements of set x this is also a function but if we have a condition like this where any element of y has two pre images what does it means this is the image and the this is the pre image if any element of y has two pre images or multiple pre images then this is not a function third thing that you need to remember while identifying the function is suppose we have a function such that the association is given like this and any element of particular uh, set x remain uh, not associated with any of the elements of y or does not have any image then this is not a function 
every element of p must be related with at least one element of q so this is this point shows here that every element of set x must be associated with some element of uh, with some element of set y next let's see if uh, this is the example if these all these four functions are uh, are functions or not in the first one if we see the diagram here will be like this where x y z and k 1 1 2 3 4 here if we see association is 1 x to 1 y to 2 z to 3 and k to 4 then this is the set x and this is the set y here this is a function yes it is a function because all elements of set x is associated with any element of set y let's see yes let's see another example here in g we have two sets x and y where x contains x y z and k y contains 1 2 3 and 4 x is associated with 1 y is also associated with 1 k is associated with 4 here if we can see z is an element of this particular set is it is not associated with any of the elements or this particular element z does not have any image then this is not a function no it is not a function third let's see another example where the association is given as x is associated with 1 x is also associated with 2 y is associated with 3 z is associated with 4 and k is associated with 3 see in this example we can see that 3 is an element which has multiple pre images pre images means y 3 is associated with y and 3 is associated with k this is not acceptable when it comes to the function so no it is not a function let's see the last part of the question here the association is given as x is associated with 1 y is associated with 2 z is associated with 4 if we can see k is an element which is not associated with any of the elements so this is not a function because of this particular element 3 is also an element which does not have any pre image but this is acceptable what the thing that is not acceptable is any element of the first set if does not have the association to the next set then this is not a function no it is not a function in this in the uh, first part find the range if it is a function so first part is a function we have discussed it the range of this particular function will be set of all elements that have pre image next is types of function these all were the types of function that we are going to discuss first is injective second is surjective third one is bijective fourth is into fifth is one one into and the sixth one is many one function so the first type is injective function as the name suggests it is the function having a mapping of one to one it means a function in which one element of domain set is connected to only one element of co domain set if this is the domain set and this is the co domain set then all the elements of this particular set is associated to only one element of this set here we can see a is associated with 4 b is associated with 
5, C is associated with 2 and D is associated with 6. So, this is a 1-1 one -one function. Let us see another example. Here also, all the elements of this particular set is associated with only one element of the next set. So, this is an injective function. Next is your surjective function, which is also known as onto function. It is a function in which every element of codomain set has it has one pre-image. What does it mean? It means, for example, here A has a pre-image 2, B has a pre-image 1 and C has a pre-image 3 and 4. So, if we can see here that two elements have the same image, it is acceptable and uh, this is known as onto function. Let us see an example here. For example, this is given and A is associated with B uh, 1, B is associated with 2, C is associated with 3. Here D is not associated with any of the element. So, this is not onto because in onto function, every element of second set must be associated with any of the element of first set. Third one is bijective function. A function is known as bijective if it is one to one and surjective also. What does it mean? The mapping between the elements of first set to the second set is one to one and each element of second set must be associated somehow with the set of, uh, with the elements of first set. Then the function is known as bijective functions. Here we can see A is uh, the mapping is obviously 1 to 1, x is associated with only a, y is associated with only b and z is associated with only x. So, the 1 1 is true, 1 1 is proved, on to, for on to we have uh, here 3 elements a, b and x and all the 3 elements here have a uh, pre-image, then this is also one on to. So, yes, it is a bijective function. Fourth one is into function. In an in into function, there must be an element of codomain set that does not have a pre-image. By default, if the function is not onto, we can consider it as an into function. Why? Because let's see here. Here, if we see this example, 4 does not have any pre-image. Then this particular function is known as into function because there exists an element in the second set that does not have any pre-image. So, this is a into function. Also, for into function, we can say range does not equals to the codomain. Here, the range will be 1, 2, 3 because all these three elements are associated with the elements of first set. So, the range is 1, 2, 3. And the codomain is 1, 2, 3, 4 because codomain is this uh, set of all elements of second set. In into function, do, uh, range is not equal to the codomain. But in case of onto function, this range must be equal to the codomain. Fifth one is 1, 1 into function. As the name suggests, the when the mapping from one element from the element of first set to the elements of second set is uh, 1 to 1 and there is at least one element that does not have a pre-image. In that case, that function is known as 1 1 into function. Here, let us see an example. We have set X having elements KLM, KLM and the set Y that have 1, 2, 3 element, 4 and 4 and the mapping is from X to Y. In this particular case, the mapping is given here is k is associated with 1, l is associated with 3, m is associated with 4. Here the uh, k is associated with only one element of first se uh, second set, l is also associated with only one element and m is also associated with only one element. So, this proves that this is a 1-1 one -one function. And also, there exists 
at least one element that does not have any pre image. So, this function is known as 1 1 into function. Last one is many one function. As, uh, as the name suggests, many one, it means when the elements of first set has same image with the second set, then that particular function is known as many one function and that mapping is known as many one mapping. Let us see an example here. If we can see 1 is associated with x, 2 is also associated with x and 3 is also associated with x only. Then this particular element is associated with 3 elements. This is known as many elements are associated with only one element. So, this is known as many one mapping and the function is known as many one function. Let us see another uh, another function, identity function. Identity function is if uh, there exists a mapping from uh, an element to itself only, then that particular function is known as identity function. For example, let us say we have a set A and uh, which contains all these five elements. Here the mapping is from A to A only. In that case, 1 is associated with itself, 2 is also associated with itself, all the elements of set A is associated with itself, then this particular function is known as identity function and function contains the pairing like 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 4 comma 4 and 5 comma 5. This is the identity function. Next is your invertible function. A function from uh, with a mapping from x to y is invertible if and only if it is a bijective function. Bijective means if that is a 1 1 or and on 2. In that case only the function is known as bijective function. Here the inverse function for f is f inverse from the which shows the mapping from uh, y to x. Let us see it in, uh, using an example. Here x is in x in y such that x contains 1, 2, 3 and y contains k, l and m. Here the mapping is l uh, 1 to k, 2 to m, 2 to m and 3 to l. This is the function that is given here and the function mapping is from x to y. If we, uh, firstly we need to check if that is a bijective function. Of course, it is a bijective function because the there is a one to one mapping between the elements of both the sets and there is no element in set y that does not have a pre image. So, yes, it is a bijective function. The second step to find the inverse of this particular function will be it will be shown as y to x where y contains elements k, l and m and x contains 1, 2, 3. Here the mapping will be from k to 1, l to 3 and m to 2. So, f inverse, this is how we represent the inverse. Here f inverse of k is 1. And here f of 1 is k. This is the difference between the function and its inverse. Next topic is composition of function. Con let us say we have three uh, sets A, B and C. And the mapping here given is from A to B and B to C. Then the fun composition of both the fun uh, functions will result a mapping from particular set A to the set C which is defined as g of x, x and this is how we calculate the this particular composition. It is uh, represented using g of notation. Let us see an example here a function is given f uh, where the association is given like 1 is connected to a, 2 is connected to a and 3 is connected to b. And another function is given g which uh, shows a is connected to 5, 
and b is connect connected to 7 there is no uh, there is no rule that every element of second set must be connected to any element of first set so keep that in mind let's see the uh, solution for this particular example here we are given two functions this is how we uh, find the gof composition of function for example let's say we uh, have gof for the first element 1 then g of f1 this is how we uh, wrote it down f1 will be f1 f1 is a only so we replace this f1 with a and in the next step g a is g a is 5 so the answer is 5 let's see another g o f 2 we replace uh, this f2 with the mapping which shows 2 is connected to a so this is we uh, this is how we replace it and g a is again 5 g o f 3 g o f 3 it means f we need to find f3 first f3 is 3 is connected to b so we replace this f3 with b and we have a uh, association of b to 7 so the answer is 7 this is the diagrammatic representation of composition of function where 1 is associated with a and a is associated with 5 so in this example we need to find h of g of uh, h of f of g and g of f of h here we have three functions fn gn and hn let's find out the first one where we need to find h of f of g here the note uh, th this is how we wrote it down firstly h then f and lastly g of n then we need to replace this g of n with the function that is given here h of f of g n will be n plus 1 next step is we need to replace this n with n plus 1 so why is it so because fn fn is given as n square and f we need to find f n plus 1 so the result will be n plus 1 whole square so we replace this whole with n plus 1 whole square firstly we need to find this quadratic equation which is n square plus 2n plus 1 only at last we need to replace this whole function with n minus 1 because here hn is n minus 1 and h this quadratic equation will be uh, we, we need to replace this whole with n minus 1 so the result will be n minus 1 whole square then plus 2 n minus 1 plus 1 the result the last result will be n square plus 1 minus 2 n plus 2 n minus 2 plus 1 which is which will be equals to n square minus uh, this will be balanced out and this plus 1 plus 1 equals to 2 which is, is balanced out with this minus so the result will be n square only let's see another example g of f of h here we need to find this then this can be written as g f h n First step will be we need to replace this hn with its function that is given here g of f n minus 1. Then we need to replace this n here with n minus 1. g n, mi n minus 1 whole square. Let's find out this uh, quadratic equation first. 
n square plus 1 minus 2n. Here we have this whole quadratic equation and uh, we know the gn function is n plus 1. So, we will be replacing this whole quadratic equation with this 1. The result will be n n square plus uh, n mm, wait a minute n n plus 1 whole square then plus plus 1 minus 2 n n plus 1 this will be equals to n square plus 1 plus 2n plus 1 minus 2n plus sorry minus 2. Here this plus 2n minus 2n and this plus 1 plus 1 equals to minus 2. So, the answer will be n square plus 1. Thank you.